Hi everyone, welcome you all to the brilliant group of institution. Today we are here to discuss one of the most important concepts for your upcoming NEET and JE examination that is how we can find out a compound is aromatic, anti-aromatic and non-aromatic. Let's see one by one. Here we have aromatic compound. If a compound want to be aromatic, it should obey one of the rule that's called Huckel's rule. Let's see what is mean by Huckel's rule. All right, Huckel's rule. So if a compound obeying Huckel's rule completely, we can say that the compound is aromatic in natural. See, the first condition, the compound should be cyclic. The compound should be cyclic. The second one, the compound should have a conjugation, conjugation of pi electrons. What's the meaning of pi electron? You know, sigma bond and pi bond. If there is a double bond, one sigma, one pi. The pi bond containing electrons are called what? Pi electrons, right? So conjugation of pi electron, let me tell you detail in the next slide. Third one, the compound should have 4n plus 2 pi electrons. Total the compound should contain 4n plus 2 pi electrons, all right? So what is this n values? The n values are integers 0 it can be 1 2 3 4 etc if n value equal to 0 how many pi electrons will be there n value 0 there will be 2 pi electrons all right if n value equal to 1 4 into 1 4 plus 2 total 6 pi electrons if n value equal to 2 there is will be total 10 pi electrons and n value 3, there will be 14 pi electron, etc. Right? So, how can we find out the pi number of electrons in the system or which is belongs to 4n plus 2 pi system or not? I'll tell you later. And so, the compounds, uh, if you want to uh, say that the compound is aromatic in nature, it should obey first condition cyclic in nature conjugation of pi electron 4n plus 2 pi electron and the last system is known as the compound should be planar in nature planar means all the elements should be on the plane planar how can we say the element all the species are in planar very simple the hybridization of the carbon should be sp2 if the carbon is sp2 in nature we can say that it's planar in nature all right, so cyclic conjugation of pi electron, 4n plus 2 pi electrons and planar should be the system. What about anti-aromatic? In anti-aromatic system, the first the one, cyclic one, that's same. Compound should be cyclic. Second one, there should be a conjugation. There should be a conjugation of pi electrons. Third one, there is a small change. In aromatic system, it should contain 4n plus 2 whole pi electron, whereas in anti-aromatic system, it must contain just 4n pi electrons. 4n pi electrons are enough. What the n value? n value can be 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. If n value equal to 1, how many pi electrons will be there? There will be 4 pi electrons n value 2 there will be 8 pi electrons n value 3 12 pi electron n value 4 there will be 16 pi electron etc and the last system that's again same the fourth system is what the compound should be planar compound should be planar again sp2 hybridization so only one difference between aromatic and non-aromatic compound what is the difference that's the presence of pi electron in aromatic compound, it should contain 4n plus 2 pi electron, whereas in anti-aromatic system contain just 4n pi electrons. What about non-aromatic system? Non-aromatic compounds mean they are neither aromatic nor anti-aromatic. Means any one of these conditions are violating the principle or the rules are violating in these two systems, then we can call the system is what? anti sorry non aromatic compound especially they contain a sp3 carbon which means the system is non 
planar. The first two compounds having planarity, all the elements and the groups are in the same plane, but here it is in non-planar system. So this is the way you can find out whether a compound is aromatic, anti-aromatic or non-aromatic. Let's go to the example. Before that, let me tell you, you know how to find out whether the compound is cyclic or not. All the rings are fused, you can say the compound is cyclic, easy to find out. What about the conjugation of pi electron? Let us discuss detail. What is the meaning of conjugation of pi electrons? That's nothing but if you consider a sigma bond and pi bond, the pi bonded electrons are weak. So it can move. For example, when you consider a benzene system, benzene or you know, benzene, these are the pi bonds. Are they can possible to move? Possible. How? Here see this long this pi bond pi bonded electrons can move here so this will move like this so the pi bonded electrons are completely delocalized or conjugation that's traveling throughout the ring this is called what conjugation how can we identify whether conjugation of pi electron is possible in a system simple first system they should contain a pi bond connected to a sigma bond again a pi bond okay pi bond sigma bond again pi bond see all of you this is a pi bond sigma bond si pi bond sigma bond pi bond sigma bond yeah the system is there so it can show a resonance or conjugation next system this is the first one second system we can say there is a pi bond sigma bond and there is a lone pair a pi bond sigma bond and then lone pair let's see like this In this system, just observe, this is a pi bond, this is a sigma bond, lone pair. Pi bond, sigma bond, lone pair. In this system, the resonance or conjugation is possible. Third one, the compound contain one pi bond, sigma bond and there is a positive charge. Means carbon with a positive charge is called carbocation. For example, you can take like this. See all of you, this is a pi bond, sigma bond, non, uh, positive charge. Pi bond, sigma bond, positive. Pi bond, sigma bond, positive. Clear? So this is the way you can identify a compound. You can say that the compound can show conjugation. Alright. So let's see through example, I will show you which of the compounds, how to find out the aromatic, non-aromatic and aromat anti-aromatic system. First system, let me consider benzene. You know, this is benzene, right? C6H6. First system, let's try whether the compound is cyclic or not. Yes, right? It's cyclic because all the rings are fused over. Cyclic compound. Second condition. Is it planar? Is all the elements are in the plane? How to find out? We said that all carbon should be sp2 hybridized. Let's see. How to identify the hybridization simple way? You know, if it is a single bonded carbon, if the carbon is fully single bonded, you can say it is sp3 hybridized. All right, sp3 hybridized. If the carbon having a double bond, a double bond connected carbon, it will be sp2 hybridized. sp2 hybridized. All right, the another one, if the carbon having a triple bond, then we can call it is sp hybridized. And one more, if the carbon is in between two double bond, then also sp hybridized. All right. If the carbon fully connected with single bond, they are sp3. If the carbon having one double bond, sp2. If the carbon with one triple bond, sp. If the carbon is in between two double bond, again sp. This is the way to identify the hybridization in simple way for a hydrocarbon. So here, what is the hybridization of this carbon? It is a double bonded carbon, sp2. So I think all carbons having double bond connection. So all are sp2 carbon. That's right. sp2 mean the compound is planar. Okay, fine second condition also satisfying what about the conjugation of pi electron is possible or not whenever the compound can show resonance or conjugation dear all of you there is a pi sigma pi system or pi sigma lone pair pi sigma lone pair or pi sigma positive charge let's see here you can see pi sigma pi pi sigma pi pi sigma pi yeah the system is there so it can make a conjugation movement of the 
the pi bonded electron it should not like just a two or three moment throughout the ring it should revolve okay throughout the ring it should revolve that's called conjugation what about the second system okay whatever the first system is not completed right Co conjugation of pi electrons are there all right then we said two system 4n plus 2 pi electron system and 4n pi system where the system benzene belongs let's see total how many pi bonds are there three pi bonds are there three pi bond is equal to how many electron dear all of you you know pi bond containing electrons are called pi electrons so total there are three pi bond that is equal to six pi electrons correct six pi electron can you tell me dear students six pi electron is belongs to which system it's already we discussed you may notice that see six pi electron system where it is belong six pi electron system is belongs to four n plus two pi electron where n value is equal to one this is the way so you look into the system how many pi electrons are there where it is belongs you can say that it is belongs to aromatic or non anti-aromatic system all right so the benzene which contain six pi electron six pi electron therefore it belongs to anti i think aromatic right aromatic system so we can say benzene is aromatic in nature because it obey all the four rules let's go to the second one this is two benzene ring fused system that's called what naphthalene this is called what naphthalene in naphthalene all of you please observe in this compound uh, first data okay the first one we can say the compound is cyclic or not no confusion i think it is cyclic one because all the carbons are fused one second one uh, it's uh, planarity all carbons having double bond connection right all carbons are double bond connected so all are sp2 carbon therefore the carbon the compound is planar third one uh, what about the conjugation of pi electron are you sure pi electron conjugation is there yes you know this is pi uh, si pi sigma pi sigma pi sigma pi sigma pi yes throughout the system the pi bonded electrons can move therefore conjugation is fine and fourth one how many pi electrons are there how many pi bonds are there in the system you can see all of you this is the one 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 two three four five bonds are there five bond is equal to total how many electron 10 pi electrons right 10 pi electrons can you identify 10 pi electron is belongs to which system 10 pi electron dear all of you 10 pi electron also belongs to aromatic system so the all rules for the Huckel's rule it's obeying so we can say naphthalene is also aromatic compound clear let's go for more example next one what is this compound cyclobutane right with the two double bond it's called cyclobutadiene cyclobutadiene let's see the compound is aromatic or not first system it is a cyclic compound okay fine what about the planarity I think all carbons having double bond connection right this is sp2 it's sp2 it's sp2 it's also sp2 yes all are sp2 carbon atom therefore the compound is planar what about the third factor is it having conjugation yes there is a pi bond sigma bond pi bond sigma bond yes the system is there therefore conjugation is possible all right fourth one total how many pi bonds are there four pi bonds sorry two pi bond right and which contain two pi electron two pi electron two pi electron so two pi bond contain total four pi electrons four pi electron where we can see four pi electron system that is in four n pi system right it is in four n pi system where n value is equal to one you will get four pi electron it is a it is a factor of which one anti-aromatic so overall the compound is anti-aromatic all right anti-aromatic so cyclobutadiene is which one anti-aromatic let's go for the fourth one in the fourth one what is the name of this compound this is cyclopentane with a two alkene and an anion this is called cyclopentadienyl anion cyclopentadienyl anion all right let's see first condition 
all are sp uh, cyc cyclic one no confusion rings is fused so therefore you cyclic compound second one what about the hybridization dear all of you it's sp2 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 generally carbanion you know carbon with a negative charge is called carbanion or sp3 so sp3 means we may think it is non aromatic system no there is a special case dear all this lone pair also can involved in resonance or conjugation that's a speciality see this is the resonance possible or not see pi bond sigma lone pair yes right possible right in which once again i'm repeating in which all system conjugation possible if there is a pi bond with a sigma bond another pi bond possible alternate sigma uh, then like a, a double bond and single bond another system pi bond single bond means sigma bond and there is a lone pair this is the system another one pi bond sigma bond and there is a positive charge here there is a pi bond sigma anion pi bond sigma pi bond pi bond sigma anion yeah all the conditions are there so it can make resonance or conjugation so what is the resonance can be wrote dear all of you these two uh, lone one lone pair comes here it will make a bond so this one can move here this one can move here right so the pi bonded electrons are completely delocalized in the system so conjugation is possible so we can say second system also fine what about third one planarity okay let me check planarity right so this carbon is double bonded carbon sp2 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 this carbon i told you actually it is sp3 carbon because carbon with a negative charge is called carbanion carbanions are sp3 hybridization carbocations are sp2 hybridization just keep in mind okay carbanion or sp3 hybridization carba carbocations are sp2 hybridization all right so this is actually a carbanion we are expecting it is sp3 but no it is immediately converted to sp2 because this non pair involved in resonance if it undergo resonance it become double bond right so this carbon become a double bond connected one double bond connected carbons are sp2 carbon so it become sp2 so this one is planar fourth condition satisfying or not which one how many pi electrons are there we are expecting there are two pi bond which contain total four pi electron but no this lone pair also involved in conjugation so they are going to become a double bond right they are going to become a pi bond right so that also we have to consider so total 2 4 6 are there there are six pi electron system Dear all of you, all this system where we can see six pi electron that is in the four n plus two pi electron when n value is equal to one, we will get six pi electron. So four n plus two system is belongs to which one? Aromatic compound. So cyclo penta dienyl anion is also aromatic in nature. Let's go for the fifth compound. Here we have cyclo penta. just to one in cyclopentenyl cation here it is a cation we have all right so let's go for the first system is it cyclic yes cyclic second one mm, all carbons are planar let's check it this is an sp2 carbon this is an sp2 carbon this is a single bonded carbon right sp3 single bonded carbon sp3 carbo cation so i told you sp2 all right carbanions are generally sp3 carbocations are sp2 okay so here conjugation possible or not let's see the conjugation then we can go for the planarity conjugation possible here just check it here is a pi bond sigma again sigma in such system it is not there right here again pi sigma sigma no what are the system last final let me remind you pi bond connected to sigma bond again pi bond or pi bond sigma bond with a lone pair or pi bond sigma bond there is a cation in this system only resonance or conjugation can be possible here i think it is not possible right because there is a pi sigma sigma so conjugation is not possible even this carbon all of you please observe actually conjugation is a factor for criteria for the compound become aromatic or uh, anti aromatic as or no correct or no uh, a conjugation is possible or it is a factor for both aromatic and anti aromatic system 
but it is not conjugation so any one of the role in aromatic and anti aromatic system is violating the compound will be non aromatic so the compound is which one we can finalize that non aromatic what are the reason conjugation is not possible it contain sp3 carbon we studied that sp3 carbons are non planar compounds not planar all right so this compound is non aromatic what about sixth compound in sixth compound what is a compound cyclopropenyl cation cyclopropenyl cation see uh, is it cyclic yes of course it is cyclic one is it having planarity you see all of you this is sp2 this is sp2 carbocation also as i so told you sp2 all right so all are sp2 carbon therefore the system is planar okay after that conjugation is possible dear all of you check it this is pi bond sigma bond positive pi bond sigma bond positive let me draw the resonance structure how to draw it conjugation okay this is pi bond sigma bond positive see when you drawing the resonance structure when this pi bonds when this pi bond move here what will happen or the pi bonded electron moves here the new pi bond will be this side then then positive charge from this carbon the lot the pi bonded electron moves so new positive charge is here all right so again one more this pi bond can be this side so what happen this new pi bond here new positive charge is here see this pi bonded electrons are completely delocalized in the system that's called what conjugation yes it is possible so it is what conjugation is also fine conjugation also fine what about the last system what is the last system uh, number of pi electron how many pi bond is there just one pi bond right one pi bond only there any other uh, involved in resonance no only two electrons are there so two pi electron where we studied two pi electron in 4n plus 2 system or 4n system 4n plus 2 dear all of you when n value equal to 0 we are getting two pi electrons so therefore the compound is what aromatic compound is what aromatic compound clear all of you next one question number seven this is cyclopropenyl anion all right first one compound is cyclic no doubt second one what about the uh, conjugation conjugation is it possible pi bond sigma bond lone pair yes pi bond sigma bond lone pair yes conjugation is fine conjugation is possible what about third system is it planar is it planar this is sp2 this is sp2 actually carbo anion i said i told i told you carbanions are sp3 non planar but you know this lone pair involved in resonance this two lone pair one lone pair that's two electron involved in conjugation so that also we have to consider it as pi bonded electron because they are going to making a pi bond here so this one can move here so what happened total there are um, yeah planarity right planarity it's planar it's planar because initially this carbon is sp3 when the lone pair shifted making a double bond so the carbon automatically sp2 so sp2 means planar fourth one total how many pi bonded electrons are there there is only one pi bond that means two pi electron but the lone pair also involved in resonance they are going to become a pi bond so total there are four pi electron right four pi electrons four pi electrons so total where is four pi electron system belongs to all of you anti-aromatic right anti-aromatic so overall compound is anti-aromatic next one cyclopentadienyl cation c eighth compound what about the first condition cyclic are you getting the concept a cyclic one all right second one what is the hybridization it's a double bonded carbon sp2 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 carbocation also sp2 therefore it is planar conjugation is possible just check it all of you pi bond sigma bond cation pi bond sigma bond cation pi bond sigma bond pi bond yes all conditions are there right so conjugation is possible conjugation is possible how many pi electron how many pi electron i think the student here two pi bonds are there two pi bond is equal to total four pi electron 
what is 4 pi electron 4 pi electron is belongs to anti aromatic anti aromatic hope you clear the concept how to do that let's practice some more question most expecting one question number 9 cyclopropene cyclopropene see in the ninth compound it's cyclic or not no confusion cyclic all carbons are sp2 carbon no right this is sp2 sp2 but this carbon is a single bonded carbon sp3 sp3 anyway uh, any uh, ways are there to make it as sp3 into sp2 no there is there is no lone pair right yeah so the sp3 means no confusion directly we can say the system is what non planar because that's not uh, uh, obeying the condition of which one aromatic and anti-aromatic system okay non arom non non planar one therefore it is non aromatic compound all right question number 10 cyclohexene dienyl because there's a cation even there is an anion see very careful here cyclic or not yes what about the uh, conjugation just check it all of you conjugation is possible or not yes now pi bond sigma bond cation pi bond sigma bond cation pi bond sigma bond anion pi bond sigma bond anion yes conjugation is possible right conjugation is possible fine next system uh, what is the hybridization of each carbon sp2 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 carbanions are actually sp3 but this lone pair can involved in resonance, right? Involved in resonance. So what happened? That also involved in resonance. So that become automatically sp2, which means planar. Okay, fine. Total, how many pi electrons are there? Actually, there are two pi bond that is equal to four pi electron. But this lone pair also involved in resonance. They are going to become a pi bond. So total, there are six pi electron. Where is six pi electron belongs? Four and plus two system. 4n plus 2 system means which one? Aromatic compound. Clear all? So this compound is aromatic. Question number 11. These are some heterocyclic compound. Okay, what is mean by heterocyclic compound? The compound which contain some hetero atom like sulfur, nitrogen, oxygen on the ring other than carbon and hydrogen. See sulfur is there, nitrogen is there, oxygen is there. This compound is said to be thiophene, right? Thiophene. Thia, thia indicates sulfur, thiophene. Nitrogen on this ring that is called pyrrole, pyrrole, pyrrole. Oxygen is known as what? Furan, furan ring, furan ring. So thiophene and uh, pyrrole and furan. Let's see whether they are aromatic uh, or which system. Question number 11. Are they cyclic? Yes. And uh, is it uh, planar? sp2 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 yes all carbons are in sp2 hybridization planar one no doubt third uh, one conjugation is possible or not dear all of you pi bond sigma bond pi bond yes pi bond sigma bond lone pair yes pi bond sigma bond lone pair yes conjugation is fine now let's see how many pi electrons dear all Actually, there are two pi bond. Two pi bond is equal to four pi electron. But are you going to uh, consider both of the lone pair? Are you going to count both of the lone pair? Please don't do that, okay? Because only one lone pair can involve in resonance or conjugation. That is going to become a double bond. All right? So this is one of the lone pair, right? Like that, it can move. Possible, no? Yeah, so only one lone pair involving. So total how many pi electrons are there? Two, four, six. There are total six pi electrons. Six pi electron belongs to which system? Four and plus two system. Therefore, the compound is aromatic. What about in pyrrol? Question number 12 in pyrrol. Dear all of you, 11, 10, 13 are same, right? 11, 10, 13 are same, right? Two double bonds are the oxygen sulfur that's the only difference this compound also same like this condition this compound uh, compound number 13 also aromatic what about compound number 12 pyrrole 
here let's see compound is cyclic yes what about the uh, planarity sp2 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 yes planar what about the conjugation yes pi bond sigma bond pi bond pi bond sigma bond lone pair pi bond sigma bond lone pair yes conjugation fine total how many pi electron this lone pair involved in resonance right yes so what happened total 2 4 6 pi electron same system this is also aromatic compound clear all of you easy all right some more question last two compound let's go for that 14th compound is given it is also a heterocyclic compound because nitrogen one other element is there this is called as pyridine 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 okay what about pyridine let's see in pyridine first one it's planar one it's planar one or not let's see this is sp2 carbon sp2 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 yes all are planar cyclic right yes cyclic total how many pi electrons are there first of all conjugation possible pi sigma pi sigma then lone pair is there yeah right? pi sigma lone pair and uh, here it is uh pi sigma pi yeah it's a continuation resonance is possible okay conjugation is possible then what about the fourth one in fourth one we can say that how many pi electron this is a pi bond right pi bond pi bond pi bond so total total three pi bonds are there three pi bond is equal to six pi electron are you including this lone pair also are you including this lone pair please don't do that is it necessary for uh, the resonance no dear all of you see this is just like a benzene ring right already resonance is possible without using the lone pair so please don't consider that lone pair all right so total how many pi electrons are there six pi electron therefore the compound is completely aromatic let's go for the last two compound what's the name total eight carbons are there in the compound it's cyclic one is called cyclo octa tetraene total four double bonds are there right cyclo octa tetraene let's see 50 is the compound is it cyclic yes how many uh, carbons are there total eight carbon all carbons having double bond connection so all are sp2 carbon so the for the compound is planar third one is it delocalization possible or conjugation is possible of course right there is a sigma uh, pi sigma, sigma uh, the alternate sigma pi bonds are there of course conjugation is perfectly all right total how many pi bonds are there total four pi bonds right total four pi bonds are there that means total eight pi electrons eight pi electron where we can identify eight pi electron is it in 4n plus 2 pi electron system or 4n pi electron system what can you get 8 electron here no right for if it is 1 you will get 6 pi electron if it is 2 10 pi electron like that what about here if it is n equal to 1 4 pi electron n equal to 2 8 pi electron yeah it is a 4 and pi system therefore the system is what anti aromatic anti aromatic clear all of you so by applying these principle which principle these three rules if a compound want to be aromatic the compound must obey Huckel's rule once again what is Huckel's rule compound should be cyclic compound should be planar well, how you can identify planar if all carbons are sp2 it is planar third one it should contain 4 n plus 2 pi electron what are the n values 0 1 2 3 what are the electrons 2 6 add for uh, for each 2 6 10 14 etc and one more compound should be planar yeah that's already we said and conjugation of pi electron in anti aromatic system cyclic conjugation planar is common like aromatic only instead of 4 and plus 2 there should be only 4 and pi system see these electron 4 8 12 16 you cannot find here right because the systems are different if any of this rule is violating in aromatic and anti-aromatic the system will be non-aromatic especially there will be a sp3 carbon all right even non-cyclic compounds also non-aromatic one 
So this is the way how to identify a compound is aromatic, anti-aromatic and non-aromatic. Hope you clear how to identify the conjugation of pi electron is possible in a system or not. See if you have alternate, if you have alternate sigma and pi bond in the system like pi sigma pi, it can undergo resonance or conjugation. If it contains pi bond sigma lone pair, pi bond sigma lone pair, pi bond sigma lone pair, yes, it can make a resonance. Let me draw the resonance here. Do you want? Last and final one. Let me just draw the resonance, okay? This is the compound given. All right. How to draw the resonance? This uh, pi bond can be moved here, pi bonded electron. So what happened? Or let me show the one. The lone pair is moving here. So it make a pi bond. So the pi bond goes to this carbon and exists as a lone pair. All right. This is the structure. Can we draw one more structure? Yes. This lone pair can be shifted. This pi bond can be make it as electron. So new pi bond is I think here. New electron is here. See conjugation is nothing but this pi bonded electron means pi bond containing electrons are completely traveling through the system. That's it. But it should be continuous. Okay. Not within two step or four step. It should not be stopped completely in the system. It should revolve. This is the way how to identify a compound aromatic, anti-aromatic and non-aromatic. Hope you clear the concept. Dear all of you, clear no? All right. Let's see again with some more concept and questions regarding other uh, chapters concept also. This is belongs to actually general organic chemistry topic. We can meet with other concept from other chapters in the upcoming classes. Thank you all. Bye.